everyone welcome back to CDL my name is Dayat Niazi and in this video I will show you how you can add data table into your view app I watched uh, many videos where instructor are teaching in a very complex way I will show you a simple way so this is a view app so let's go to the view components this is a view component where I am I implemented the HTML table so let's go to the view this is a view student list okay here I add this HTML table and this table have an ID of my table okay so let's go to the main file this is our Laravel blade where I am rendering my view app so hopefully you can understand the view structure so this is our ID so well, first thing first uh, you need to add uh, first jQuery uh, jQuery data table CDN so I added this uh, at the top okay and uh, then at the end of this I added the JS script here so uh, you need to take care about uh, one more thing you need to add this CDN in uh, after the jQuery file and before this uh, mixer file so if you can't do this uh, it will not going to work so take care about this thing so here I'm renting this app and let's go to the view student view and uh, this is the HTML table how we can convert this HTML table into the data table so go ahead and refresh we have a simple we have a simple table and uh, here we will convert this into a data table so I will add a property here created and when our uh, Vue.js component is created our code is reload so I already implemented this code I'm copying this and pasting it here okay so what it does uh, it's uh, first uh, reading the file uh, then I add this because uh, it throw an error which is data table not defined if you are not facing this uh, you can comment out this okay so after this I am initializing the data table and then it's a server side rendering so I add the processing to and then server side okay then I'm hitting this uh, URL okay API slash student slash list okay let's go to the API.php and inside this I have a prefix of student and inside this uh, a list and this list uh, uh, let's go to this view list here. I have added this data table. So how you can add data table? So let's go to the Laravel data table uh, Click on this first link Yajra Laravel data table. So this is uh, a Repo where 3.9k stores okay. So how you can install this so let's go to the bottom and copy this command, okay? and go to the terminal i have already one running so let's open a new terminal you need to paste this command and hit enter it will install this cijra table and if you are using the version 5 5 plus you don't need to add these two lines okay so it will uh, automatically add it so then you need to and copy this command and paste it here this is an optional command okay uh, if you don't want to add this uh, and don't want to publish this so let's skip this so yeah installation is finished so how you can use this uh, data table so it's a uh, properly documented so here is the way how you can fetch the data so this is the data where you can fetch the uh, data from the eloquent model here, here is the DB and this is the collections and arrays and like this so I'm fetching this uh, from eloquent model and uh, I'm specifying the column you need to specify the column which you want okay so I have added six column one two three four six okay and uh, uh, here I'm returning this from the data table. Okay, why I added this because it uh, add uh, draw and uh, how many entries are inside the table. Everything it will uh, take care of everything which is uh, recommended uh, for a data table. So this is converting into the data table. 
and uh, uh, this is uh, the API we are fetching this here and uh, we need to add this column here we need to specify this column like ID name for the name inside our view components okay inside the column array okay ID name for the name and that's it and uh, uh, one more thing you need to add this uh, table you need to uh, use the correct tags like table head tr and uh, then you need to also add this table body if you don't add this uh, this will not going to work so take care about this thing so let's go there save this and it's uh, compiled the css and let's go here and refresh it yeah our table is successfully working okay we have our uh, 16 records so let's go there and go to the database i will show you in a minute so yeah here we have a uh, 16 record so it's so displaying the 16 record so if i go here and let's click on father name so it's uh, ascending and descending yeah okay so you can also search it like this uh, successfully working okay you can also paginate it like this okay and if I click on 25 it will display the 25 record so everything is successfully working hopefully you can understand uh, each and every step if you are facing any issue you can comment out so that's it for this video we'll meet in the next video take care bye bye